Hi, my name is Chiang Kai. I'm a professor of medicine at Emory University, Atlanta, Georgia, USA. I also direct an advanced endoscopy fellowship in our institution. I'm the communication author. The co-first authors are Dr. San San Sen from Nanjing Jamtang Hospital, Nanjing, China, and Dr. Hui Lo from Fourth Military Medical University, Xi'an, China. Both of them were visiting scholars and worked with me in Emory University. I appreciate the editorial office in endoscopy give us uh, this video interview on our paper, Gatric Per Endoscopic Pyrolomyotomy versus Gatric Electric Stimulator in Treatment of Refractory Gatriopresis. A propensity score matched analysis on long term outcomes, which is accepted and published online in endoscopy recently. As we know, refractory gastroparesis is difficult to treat with limited options. At the present time, there are two major therapeutic modalities for therapy of gastroparesis. Gastric per endoscopic pyrolomyotomy, called GPO, and the gastric electric stimulator called the GES. To our knowledge, there is no study to compare the outcome of those two methods. In this study, we compare the long-term clinical outcomes of GPO versus GES and try to find out which is better for treatment of refractory gastroparesis. In our institution, we had much more patients who underwent GPOM than patients who underwent GES. For this study, we performed a propensity scores matching. 23 patients were included in each group. GPOM had a significant better and longer clinical response than GES. The median duration of response was 24, 20, 25 months in the GES group and was apparently shorter than that of GPO. The Kaplan Mears estimate of 24 months clinical response rate was 77% in the GPO group versus 55% in the GES group. GES appeared to have little effect with idiopathic gastroparesis. The instance of adverse events was higher in the GES group. However, those adverse events were minor and easy to manage. In the future, randomized studies are needed to compare the efficacy of those two therapeutic modalities and to find out how to select patients for an appropriate therapy. Thank you.